What's up, YouTube? Another Fin Guru episode. Same template, three different constructions. How will I ride? Let's find out. What's up, guys? If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment. What we thought we would do today is we have the F4 template from Futures, and we have three different constructions. We thought we would get one of our team riders. He would surf these three fins in the same board on the same day and see if we can identify differences as well as ask him if he was able to notice anything as well. So first off, the three constructions are the Thermotech, the Alpha, and the Honeycomb. So the Thermotech is their entry-level composite material. They are made in Huntington Beach in the United States. That's pretty cool. The material is better than the FCS Glass Flex material, in my opinion. It is more rigid. But the problem with these fins is they flex too much. So when you have a fin that flexes too much, what happens is, is you load up the fin and they bend like when you do a bottom turn. And so if the material is weaker, it won't snap back into position. And so what you end up with is a slower response. So the other material is the Alpha. This is a cool material. It's a proprietary material that Future has. It is, I think it's called the C6. Uh, material and it is a carbon fiber air injected material that they make this fin out of and then the other material is the honeycomb so this is fiberglass with the inside being a hexagon shaped foam a honeycomb that takes up the space that would normally be taken up by fiberglass so it helps with the weight and then because there is a little less fiberglass, there is uh, a little bit more flex than an all fiberglass fin. Anyway, we got our team rider, Gunner Day, to go ahead and grab these three sets of fins. And he took them for a surf. We thought we'd see if we can notice anything by, by him doing that. So first off is the Thermotech. Let's check out the footage of Gunner. This was the first one that he tried. All right, so uh, to me, when I looked at the footage, I thought I was seeing a board that was a little bit sluggish. So that's how I would describe this, which kind of makes sense. It goes along with the fact that it's not a super strong, resilient material. So the flex back is going to be a little slower, which means the response is going to be kind of slower and, and weaker. So the next fin we asked him to try was the Alpha. Um, this fin is pretty cool because it has a slight inner foil right here. And so that usually helps with a little bit of, of lift. And so um, typically these are better in smaller waves. They give you a little bit of an advantage. I also thought I would mention, this is pretty cool, that this material, they teamed up with uh, a company that, a nonprofit that um, recycles fishing nets. They collect fishing nets. And then uh, Future takes those and they uh, melt them down, I guess, uh, and they incorporate it with their C6 material. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's check out the footage of Gunner riding the Alpha next.
Okay, so to me, that was night and day. What I saw was a board that had a lot more speed. I thought that his turns were uh, sharp and crisp. I liked what I saw for sure, and I definitely feel like it was better than the Thermotech. So the next fin is the Honeycomb, and this actually is Gunner Day's go-to fin, he had said. This is definitely going to be like a stronger material, and so let's see what the footage looked like when Gunner put this in his board. All right, so I definitely noticed something uh, about his board when he had this fin in. I felt like the board had drive, but I felt like he had to work harder to almost kind of like pump it into the next gear. I also thought that when he was going off the top, the turn didn't look as sharp and quick as it did with the Alpha. So after looking at all the footage, I definitely had my opinion about it, but uh, I asked Gunner after he had surfed all three to kind of rate the fins or tell me which one that he thought he liked the best. And while this was Gunner's go-to fin, he had something interesting to say about, uh, about this. Go-to fin at home normally, and I was honestly expecting them to be a lot better, but I honestly think I like the... The Alpha's better. They're maybe a little bit more responsive. I think it might just be because they have more flex. A little lighter, maybe. So you can see that in the end, the Alpha was the fin that he chose, which was pretty cool because when I watched the footage, definitely thought that the Alpha looked the best to me. And I was wondering if, almost as if Gunner was going to choose the honeycomb because this was the fin that he always goes to and hey let's face it fiberglass honeycomb definitely the coolest fin yada 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 so i thought it was pretty cool that he actually thought that the alpha worked better now what can we learn from all this to me what we can learn is that, that there might be a fin construction that has an application or like has a best case scenario to it so Obviously, this flexes a lot. This is ideal for entry level. If you surf maybe twice a month and you're maybe a beginner or something like that, then this would be fine. If you are anything but that, I would go with the alphas at bare minimum because, you know, it definitely is better response and performance than the Thermotech. Ultimately, I would have to say, uh, in my opinion, it would go like this. If you needed a fin for your everyday surf especially here in california i would just go with the alpha we saw the footage it definitely looked a little faster and better i would basically use the honeycomb if the waves were good or it was strong and i was taking a trip like if you ride this every day and then you go to rencon on a swell and it's like eight foot faces you need some control then i would roll with the honeycomb so I would use this for control, to control uh, speed and power, and I would use the Alpha as your everyday because this will get a little bit more out of the surf to make the best performance possible. So what I think is really cool about this whole program is that we can hopefully demystify what fin works best. We can demystify which construction works best for which scenario and hopefully we can all end up on a page where 
we are basically executing our most optimum performance by utilizing the coordinating or corresponding construction to help enhance that experience. So anyway, uh, we are going to be doing another one real soon. It's going to be the uh, Merrick Medium. We're going to have Gunner ride the, we're going to ride the Honeycomb. We're going to have him ride the Alpha, this material, and then we're going to have him ride the Black Stick. So those are three different constructions that we're going to take a look at and hopefully we'll be able to see if we can notice the difference and see what Gunner has to say, we're going to try and surf uh, a point break so he has um, longer waves to do more turns, etc. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I would uh, subscribe if you can because that way the next time one of these videos comes out, you'll uh, hit the subscribe and notification. That way you'll know when we drop the next video for the uh, Almerics. And then if you have comments, comment below. And uh, yeah, if you can. Give the old thumbs up like button a hit and yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.